Before I print my model, I'm going to need to know how expensive it's going to be to print, how much plastic my model is going to use. Now, one way that I could check that is by using a price and volume online calculator, like this one at planfab.eu slash price hyphen calculator. This website is for a European 3D printing and design services company. You can send them your model and they'll print it for you. Of course, we're not interested in that because we'll have our own 3D printer. However, we are interested in some of the features of this calculator. So, in Tinkercad, open up a model you'd like to check out and click the export button in the upper right hand corner and select .stl file. It will download. Then you can go to the calculator, select Upload, and then select. And there's my model, the exact same model. I can see that they would want 34 pound, sorry, 34 euros to print it. But what I'd actually like to do is check this info, this blue info button. I can see it would be 46 grams of plastic. So that's quite heavy, actually, and that would be a little bit expensive to print. So I think what I'll want to do is make this lighter. How can I make it lighter? Well. I can use holes. I can cut a hole in the middle of it. So I'm going to ungroup my model and I'm going to put a hole right in the middle of this orange cylinder here. The way that I'll do that is very similar to what I did with that cup earlier. I will start off by duplicating this piece. Now that I've duplicated it, I will make it a little bit smaller. I will hold the shift key and then shrink it. Like that. I will turn it into a hole and then I will align it with the bigger orange cylinder using the align button. So it's in the middle and the middle. And in the middle. And now I will group everything back together. check for the hole poking out. No, it's fine. And now I will export it again. Now let's see what the weight is now that I've cut a little hollow hole in the center. I'll upload my new version of it. Obviously the price has gone down and I'm going to click the info button again and I will see that now I have cut the weight down to only 23 grams, about half of what it had been. Much cheaper, much easier to print.